ladies and gentlemen, and welcome uh, back to First Reflections, where I react to stuff and try to be entertaining at the same time. We're back with Amphibia, folks. Back to frogs, back to humans, and magical gems, and an annoying guy with a microphone. Let's do this thing! <laughs> So yeah, we're back with Amphibia. Time for more episodes. We got two new ones today, one of which I'm pretty excited about and one of which I am extremely excited about. So this is hopefully going to be a very fun reaction. I have the descriptions right here. And the first one is called Quarreler's Pass. Hop Hop drops Sprig and Polly off in an obstacle-filled mountain trail designed to help them get along. So it doesn't look like there's going to be too much going on with this one. It just seems like it's going to be another Sprig and Polly interaction episode, which to be honest, we haven't really had one of those yet. We haven't really had a lot of episodes with just Sprig and Polly being siblings. The one I remember the most was Civil Wart, where they, you know, they got into that argument over uh, which of the two characters in that movie that Anne showed was better. That was really the only big sister and brother kind of episode I remember them having. So have given them another one in season two. I'm down. Should be pretty fun. Sprig and Polly are fun characters. So yeah, hopefully that will go down well. And the second one, this is the one I'm super excited about, is Toad Catcher. Sasha and Grime must reconcile their differences to escape Newtopia's most skilled warrior, General Yunan. Now, I have been wanting to see exactly what happened to Sasha and Grime and the Toad army for a very long time. The last time we saw them was Reunion, which was the season one finale. We still have no idea what happened to them, but I'm really hoping this will be a lot of fun. They mention about reconciling their differences, so I don't really know exactly what's going to be happening. Is, is Sasha now going to be more soft, you know, because after what she did for Anne, is she going to be like less hard and maybe Grime's going to have to toughen her up? Or is it going to be the other way around? Is Grime going to be going soft and Sasha's going to have to toughen him up? What, what, what exactly is going to be the conflicting thing is is grime going to want to go to war but sasha's like no you know that might not be a good idea i don't know something is going to happen but I i'm just glad to see more sasha and grime because i really do like their interactions i think they're slowly becoming friends and we shall see exactly what happens i'm just eager to see what happened to them after all this time so yeah we're going to get started with the first one in coral's pass in three two one go really starting to wear on me Really? I haven't seen them argue at all this whole series. <laughs> that's a pretty good Spriggan. That's a spot on Sprig impression. <laughs> and that's a spot on Polly impression. Holy cow. You guys should take that on the road. Ooh, I hate it when that happens. Uh, again, like, they haven't fought this whole season. So, like, where did this come from? Just call you, only have Wait, you only have one phone. You only have one phone. <laughs> yep, I knew it. Called it. Literally called it. Ooh, good save. <laughs> that was close. All right, sibling teamwork time. Almost a little too quiet. Time for the awkward silence to kick in. Almost. Oh, do you have a boyfriend back home? Oh, oh, come on. Are they really going to start arguing again? You guys were best buddies like two seconds ago. Yeah, this can only end well. It only ever ends well when the group splits up. Never split the party. Oh, hello, monster. How you doing? Oh. Oh, conjoined twins. Okay. So they're literally stuck with each other. Gee, two siblings fighting. I wonder what this is an allegory for. I wonder who this represents. Yep. Yeah, not so. Not a lot of fun when you're the ones that have to listen to it, huh? Ah, sibling hug, sibling hug, cute. <laughs> he's, he's just on autopilot now. He doesn't even know what he's saying anymore. Okay, so that was Quarreler's Pass. Uh, was I the only one that like wasn't a big fan of that one? I mean. Oh, when the last time I did a reaction, a lot of people were saying they weren't a fan of Truck Stop Polly because they thought it was a little forced and a little cliched, but I, g I gave it a pass. I thought the ending was nice, the, the big action scene at the end with Polly was really good, and, you know, and the jokes were good, and, you know, some of Polly's shenanigans were really funny. I gave it a pass. It was cliched, but it was fun. This one, I thought, was just forced and kind of predictable, 
Like, like if, if they said Truck Stop Polly was forced, this was really forced. I mean, we have not seen Sprig and Polly argue at, in any episode up to this point. So it, it felt really like out of nowhere that they started arguing. And then automatically one charming interaction and then, you know, oh, best sibling team ever. And then immediately all that Sprig does is just accidentally step on Polly's tail and then they start arguing full force again. Like they went from 100 to 0 to 100 again. It felt really, 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 really forced. You had like the two-headed beast thing, the conjoined sibling beast thing, and obviously that was meant to be a metaphor for, you know, Sprig and Polly being siblings and always arguing. It was even a brother and sister even, you know, all that kind of stuff. The design was kind of cool. The fact that it was blind and it couldn't make any noise, kind of like Harry Potter Basilisk style was kind of cool. But overall, it felt, again, it was kind of forced. It was obvious what they were going with with that, and, you know, it was, eh. Like, I don't want to be super hard on it. It wasn't an awful episode. I mean, there were some jokes that worked. The, the awkward silence with Anne and Hop Hop was pretty funny. Uh, the whole Anne's got a boyfriend joke was pretty funny, though. Anne pushed Hop Hop off a cliff. Is he okay? I hope he's okay. And also the impressions joke, where the two of them were like, you know, doing perfect impressions of, you know, the different characters. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, Sprig and Polly should go into voice acting. You know, they can make a killing with impressions like that. So overall, I really wasn't feeling this one. I thought it was a little bit too forced. I, I like the idea of a Sprig and Polly bonding episode, but I thought this one was a little too fast-paced, a little too you know, forced in regards to, oh, now now they're arguing, even though they haven't been arguing, and now they're best friends again, and now they're arguing again. It's like, I don't know. It, it, it didn't feel right to me. It felt kind of off. So far, I think this is my least favorite of the season so far. I'm sure my opinions will change as time goes on, especially when I do my tune words or less on this season, but for now, I'm not digging this one that much. It was okay. It had a few funny moments, but it wasn't like top-tier episode material, but I'm really hoping that the next episode, which is going to have Sasha and Grime in it, that is going to be top-tier, because I'm, I'm really looking forward to see exactly what they've been doing since this whole thing went down. So let's take a peek. <laughs> All right. Sasha is training. Nice. Oh boy. Ooh. 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 Dang. She, she's out for blood of the planters. Grime, you alright, my guy? Are you in here? Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Wow, he really let himself go. Hey, Suspicion Island! I remember just, well, well, that was in the uh, the phone episode, Taking Charge. I remember that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he really turned into a lazy bum. Hey, Percy. Hey, buddy. Season's just getting good. Oh, he's actually, he's buddies with uh, Percy and, uh, what's her name, Barb? He's friends with them now. I think that's cute. <laughs> Are those like cheese bugs or something? It's like cheese puff bugs. I like that. Abandon your post and now you're a fugitive. So exposition, exposition, exposition. No big deal. We'll just have abandoned us. We Wait, the whole the whole army jump ship? Oh, oh so dang. Okay. I guess, I guess they're on their own now. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, doesn't piano player doesn't even skip a beat. Nice job. And doer of dabs. Unacceptable. Hey, do not underestimate the power of a good beard. A good beard means power. <laughs> Come on, Grime. Grime, you gotta, like, hit the treadmill or something, my guy. Yep. She's upset that she lost Anne as a friend. I know it. Because you lost your friend. Yep. You're Called it. That same again. Yeah, Grime. Spitting facts. Good job, Grime. Save yourself now. No, Before she's gonna stay because he's her friend. Count on right now. Aww. You. Yay. Right. I are about to lose another. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Grime and Sasha BFFs. Ah, I, I love it. Oh, here we go. Grime is back in action. <laughs> Whoops. Never bring a stick to a sword fight. Ooh, dang. Shatter them claws, Sasha. No, those titles are awesome. Shush. <laughs> I never thought I'd, I'd see the day where I called Grime cute. Oh, boy. That's probably not a good thing. Okay, so that was Toad Catcher. I'm, I'm thinking top tier. I'm, I'm thinking top. It's funny. We went from one that I think is probably bottom tier to one that's probably top tier. I don't, I don't know. I just really like... 
I really like Sasha and Grimes' like little interactions. I, I like their chemistry, kind of. They're, they're tough as nails, but they also look out for each other. I think that's really nice. And it, it's kind of funny. Prison Break was one of my favorite episodes from the first season, and now this might be one of my favorite episodes from this season. But overall, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Action was really good. Um, General Yunnan was pretty good character. I mean, I kind of like, she was really tough and really powerful, but she obviously had a little bit of an ego on her. Like, she constantly kept saying her motto and her titles and all that kind of stuff over and over again. It's like, oh, I am General Yunnan, Scourge of the Sand Wars, defeater of blibbity blibbity blibbity, uh, youngest newt ever to be Wolverine or whatever. I don't know. But <laughs> the, <laughs> the point is, fun episode, a lot of great. I do like the, um, the little thing at the end where Grime basically, like, laid it down and told her, it's like, nope, you're, you're doing your training because... You're upset that you lost your friend. And you'll notice at the very beginning, um, when she was defeating those dummies that looked like the planter family and Anne, she pretty much slaughtered the planter ones. But when she got to Anne, she didn't destroy the dummy. She just kind of knocked it over on its feet and put the sword to its neck. Like, she wanted Anne to be submissive. She wanted Anne to submit to her. She doesn't want to kill her. She, she just wants her to be, you know, she wants things to go back to the way they were, where she was on top and all that kind of stuff. I've actually, I'm, I'm working on a huge amphibia theory where I talk about the gems on the Calamity Box and how each girl embodies a certain virtue basically like like they all embody a certain virtue and she they have to spread those virtues to the species of amphibia that lost them like the frogs being more brave the toads being more kind and speaking of being more kind captain grime i'm, I'm impressed with how far he's come he went from he, he kind of went from like one dimensional jerk who basically just used kindness as a crutch kind of like sasha he used it as like a leash to keep his things in line to a genuinely nice and kind of friendly guy i mean you saw when with he was with percy and uh, barb and everything like that um, he, he actually wanted to binge Suspicion Island with them. It seemed like they were buddy-buddy. I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, Grime, Grime's getting more kind. And I think Sasha as well is also getting more... I'm, I'm thinking with this whole, like, big army being built with all the frogs and the toads and everything, that they're going to build a toad army. And I think this is going to be structured on kindness. I think instead of, like, manipulating the Toad army like Sasha did before, I think that this is actually going to be an army where Sasha gets to meet every individual soldier. She'll get to be friends with them. Grime will be friends with them. This will be an army not built on fear, but on mutual respect for all the Toads and everything like that. And it, it'll be better for it, you know? They'll storm the capital and they'll be friends. They'll have mutual respect for each other. I think that's going to be a way more powerful army than the one that Grime was trying to do before, because he was leading them out of fear. This one's going to be out of mutual respect and kindness, so I don't know. I've said enough. I'm really excited for what's going to happen. I don't know when we're going to see Sasha and Grime again, but this episode was fantastic. It was really funny. Um, the running joke of Yunnan's titles, eh, it was kind of hit and miss. It was pretty funny with the variations they did on it, but Grog and... Not Grog. <laughs> Grime and Sasha's interactions were great. Um, you know, the inclusion that they still had Percy and Barb in there was really nice. The action was fun. All that kind of stuff was fun. I'm kind of losing my voice now because this is the last interaction I'm doing for today. But either way, I love this episode. It's probably top tier at this point. We'll have to see what else happens. I'm looking forward especially to Marcy and the Gates in two weeks. Marcy at the Gates because we'll finally get to see what Marcy is like. That might be a top tier episode since it's a two-part special, but we're going to have to see. So overall, we had a not-so-good episode and we had a really good episode so we'll see exactly what happens uh next week when we get um muppets and gravity falls crossovers with uh with amphibia that should be pretty interesting so uh yeah this was a lot of fun i hope you guys had a lot of fun and i will see you next week for more amphibia reactions Bye bye